Have you ever thought about the fact that the transportation that once seemed like pure fantasy already exists? I'll show you what kind of gift Lexus has made to fans of the Back to the Future franchise. In my new video, I'll introduce you to the futuristic car from Mercedes, which looks like something out of a science fiction movie. But that's just the beginning. In the finale, you'll experience an exciting journey from the world of Russian folk tales to live real English reality. In this video, let's delve into the latest developments in transportation technology and find out what awaits us in the future. Who among us hasn't dreamed, as they made their way to school each morning, that their backpack could not only carry books, but also serve as a means of transportation. Perhaps that's exactly what the engineers at the New Zealand company Martin Aircraft Company thought when they were working on their invention. In 2013, this company received permission from the country's Civil Aviation Authority to conduct manned test flights of what it claims to be the world's first practical jetpack. This product can assist military and emergency rescue services with operational jetpacks. Test flights were limited to an altitude of 20 feet and can conducted over uninhabited terrain. The company's CEO, Peter Cocker, said, For us, this is a very important step because it turns what I call a dream into reality. I believe we can now commercialize it and move forward very quickly. The Martin Jetpack is designed with safety, reliability, functional compatibility, repairability and simplicity in mind. The company's latest jetpack, named P12, features a lightweight carbon fiber body and is powered by a gasoline engine that drives to inducted fans providing vertical takeoff and landing, as well as extended flight. The company sells its invention for an approximate price of $150,000 to $250,000. I was amazed by the German car manufacturer Mercedes-Benz, which presented its vision of luxury cars. This vehicle, resembling a capsule, is designed to be used as a living room on wheels. I think you could even throw a pajama party in there. The F-015 concept design, called Luxury in Motion, presented at the Las Vegas show, features a large interior space. The car has four individual relaxation seats that rotate outward, welcoming passengers as they enter. Once inside, the seats with the passengers again change direction so that they face each other. Six screens, controlled by eye tracking and gesture recognition, are integrated throughout the cabin, providing communication and entertainment. When selecting manual mode, the steering wheel extends from the dashboard, and the driver and passenger seats automatically rotate in the direction of travel. Large LED modules at the front and rear of the car indicate the mode in which it operates. White indicators indicate manual driving, while blue indicates autonomous mode. Despite the car becoming lighter, the company stated that the construction will not weaken thanks to a combination of materials and an external safety perimeter located under the windows. Many car enthusiasts were expecting this marvel to appear in showrooms. However, in 2017, Mercedes-Benz announced that the F-015 would not go into production. This caused anger and disappointment among car enthusiasts. In 2020, the company had to issue a press release stating that the F-015 is still part of their long-term strategy. And in 2022, the German automotive concern presented a new model, the Vision EQXX. It has an impressive range of 600 miles and can be charged by solar energy. Although the F-015 was not released for mass production, its ideas and technologies will be used in future models. Remember the hoverboard from the movie Back to the Future 2? The concept of using a hoverboard as a personal means of transportation was popularized by the series of films in this franchise. Fans were thrilled when the automotive brand Lexus unveiled its first working hoverboard in 2015. The levitating skateboard is among the futuristic technologies proposed in the movie. Lexus had long been working with scientists from the Research Institute in Dresden and specialists in magnetic technologies on the development of a board that uses magnetic fields for levitation. The Lexus hoverboard has the shape of a skateboard without wheels, but with a deeper profile. Its foundation includes two cryostats, chambers designed to maintain the temperature of the superconducting material at minus 387 degrees Fahrenheit using liquid nitrogen. At such a low temperature, the material creates a magnetic field. When placed over another magnetic field, similar to the one emanating from the surface of a skate park, the repulsion between them causes magnetic levitation. To test and demonstrate the hoverboard under the skate park in Barcelona, where the commercial was shot, over 650 feet of magnetic coating was laid. The commercial shows riders gliding across the surface of the skate park and even over the top of the pool. Although the Lexus hoverboard is one of the most innovative developments in skateboarding in recent years, other designers 
engineers have also updated the standard model. The Lexus hoverboard is still not available for purchase. However, in December of the same year, the Romanian company Arca Space unveiled its own electric hoverboard, called the Arcaboard. This device was capable of flying over any surface, whether land or water, and was advertised as a new type of personal transportation. The company states on its website that the Arcaboard is powered by 36 built-in electric fans and can be easily controlled with a smartphone or body movements. In 2016, the Arca board went on sale for a starting price of $19,900. So now we are transitioning from personal to public transportation. Elon Musk's proposed Hyperloop system will use magnets and fans to propel passenger capsules through a long tube-like structures at speeds exceeding those of commercial airplanes. He presented plans for a supersonic transportation system that would connect Los Angeles and San Francisco in just 30 minutes. Traveling at over 700 miles per hour, passengers will sit in a tube 4.4 feet wide and zip through a 382 miles mile tunnel connecting these cities in just 30 minutes. Hyperloop is a new form of transportation that aims to change the paradigm by being both fast and affordable for people and goods, Musk said about the invention. In the project, passenger capsules move at high speed through a low-pressure tube located above ground between two cities. The capsules are accelerated by a magnetic linear accelerator installed at various stations. Passengers won't notice the speed, and the journey will be much like flying in an airplane. It should be really smooth and quiet, and there will never be any turbulence or anything like that, the billionaire said. Musk claims that Hyperloop will be twice as fast as an airplane, cheaper than a high-speed train, and fully autonomous. It will be resistant to atmospheric conditions and earthquakes. Hyperloop projects have open-source code, and Musk has called on others to contribute to improving the design and bringing it to life. The entrepreneur dubbed this invention the fifth mode of transportation. The project is estimated to cost around $7 billion. Musk's ideas about futuristic transportations don't end here. Speaking online during a Google Hangout event, Musk said he has another idea that could rival the Concorde. He said he envisions trips of over 1,000 miles on planes that will travel faster than the speed of sound. Well, now even flying cars are no longer solely the stuff of science fiction. The creators of a project called Aeromobile described it as perfect for medium-distance travel and even suggested that flying cars could be a solution to the congestion of traditional transportation networks. The creators of the Aeromobile say that transportation networks are in crisis, and they speculate that a potential solution could be to move road traffic into the sky. The developed preliminary prototype of Aeromobile, known as version 2.5, was first tested on roads and in flight at the end of 2013. The car was able to take off, reaching a speed of 80 miles per hour, then flew a short distance and landed successfully. The Aeromobile is a multi-purpose transport vehicle that combines the functionality of a car and an airplane. It is equipped with two engines, one for ground movement and the other for flight. The Aeromobile can accommodate four people and can reach a maximum airspeed of 220 miles per hour. The design of Aeromobile 2.5 includes a set of wings that extend outward from the car's body for takeoff, with a propeller at the rear to provide additional lift. This version of the vehicle weighs 1,000 pounds. According to its designers, it is capable of flying distances of up to 400 miles, consuming 4 gallons of fuel per hour, and has been certified for airworthiness in Slovakia, where the project is based. Later, the company publicly demonstrated the two-seat vehicle version 3 in Vienna, with enhancements including a carbon body, improved wing design and an updated onboard computer. We were able to move from last year's model to this version in nine months thanks to extensive digital prototyping and the great experience we gained from previous concepts, said one of the developers, Juraj Vatsulik. We would like to start taking pre-orders in the near future. Vatsulik described the car as a completely new category of vehicles. And if Musk had five of them, as I understood it, this is the sixth. The project was created under the influence of the works of Aviator Explorer, Antoine de saint exupéry and science fiction writer Jules Verne. Perhaps the vehicle will face real regulatory issues before it can become a reality. Perhaps authorities will be forced to introduce a new category of licenses – flying license. And imagine what questions will be on the air traffic control exam. What signal should a flying car use when turning left and when moving up?
In general, future drivers of flying cars will have to learn not only the rules of the road, but also the rules of celestial piloting. The official start date for the sale of the Aeromobile has not yet been announced, but according to some sources, it is expected to happen in 2025. At the same time, other sources believe that sales may start later, in 2027. As for the price, it has also not been officially announced yet. However, it is expected to be high, ranging from $1.2 million. Well, here we are, diving into fairy tales. Remember the story of Yemela on the stove? Dominic Wilcox suggested creating complex cars devoid of safety features. Wilcox created a car called the Future Driverless Sleep Car with colored glass. As a commission for exhibitions dedicated to future mobility, the designer presented a future where all cars will be computer-controlled, eliminating collisions and accidents, which means everyday vehicles no longer need to be designed with safety in mind. In the future, driving a driverless car will be safer than driving a manually controlled car, Wilcox said. So we don't need the protective systems that are built into modern cars. We can just have a shell of any design. The car, shaped like a capsule, was made of colored glass panels, using a wooden frame consisting of arches formed by a computer-controlled cutting machine, which were attached to a flat base. The glass was attached using a technique known as copper foil method, which involves wrapping the edge of each piece with copper tape and soldering them together where they meet. The front opening dome made of colored glass rotates on a hinge at the back. Inside the car, there are none of the usual control elements. Instead, Wilcox imagines it being remotely controlled by a computer, similar to a Google driverless car. Removing the control elements frees up space inside for a range of functions. For this design, Wilcox added a bed to create a sleeping car. He also launched a conceptual website, where users can order cars with a range of different features, including a bedroom, mobile office, gym, restaurant car, and solarium car which can be programmed. The website offers a range of different exterior design options for the car, as well as a flexible selection of time and date for car delivery. The technology of transportation has come a long way since the invention of the wheel. Now we have vehicles that were once considered science fiction. With the rapid development of society, transportation becomes only more innovative, and the possibilities of the futuristic segment are limitless. The convenience of travel will increase exponentially, travel time will sharply decrease, and access to previously inaccessible places will become possible. It is evident that futuristic transportation is becoming inevitable, and it will usher in a new era of efficiency convenience and mobility.